Hey everybody, it's Greg Harrelson here, and I want to welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Level Up Podcast. Uh, of course, I have got uh, a guest, and um, I don't always have guests on the Level Up Podcast. Sometimes I just do some, some very uh, strategic coaching. Um, but I started talking to my uh, good friend Jeff Quinton out of Ocean City, New Jersey, that I've uh, known for many, many years. And we decided, hey, let's do another podcast uh, together. He's probably been on here a couple times throughout the uh, you know last four years. Um, but we thought now's the time, especially with the market, you know, kind of getting a little funky on people. We're not really sure. Is the market going up, down? Most people think it's softening. Prices haven't moved that much, so it's a little bit confusing. So we're going to talk about all that. And if you if you saw the title, the title today of today's conversation is Seven Listings Within 72 Hours. Now, I know Jeff is not a BSer, so I know that he did this. The key is, is we need to figure out how in the heck he did this. So before we get started on that, Jeff, thank you again for joining me on the on the Level Up podcast. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Thanks. Always, always a pleasure. I'm, I'm uh, honored to be here and share what we've uh, what we've learned for so many years and, and yeah. what's uh, what's current today. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And be, before we get into it, I just want people to know that I say I've known Jeff for uh, for many years. Jeff, how long have you been in real estate? 30 years. 30. So I think if I remember correctly, you might have started about two years before me. I mean, I think you, I know you were licensed before me, but yeah, I'm 90, 92. 92. So I'm probably 95, somewhere in that range. Yeah. So maybe three years after you, you and I um, met through Mike Ferry over 20 years ago. And um, we're both ambitious trying to you know, set records and beat Karen Bernardi, right? Who is just <laughs> such a major icon in the industry. Like whatever we could do to learn from Karen Bernardi, if we could ever surpass her, that would be like, that'd be amazing, right? And, um, but throughout that process, we were accountability partners, constantly masterminding, brainstorming in so many different groups together. So I, I could tell stories just about me and you, you know, for a whole hour. But I really just want to dive in and see what the heck are you doing now? And you mentioned to me that, you know, maybe you were a little bit distracted from getting listings. And then you decided that you were going to go balls to, to, to the wall. And next thing you go, no, you you turned it up and, and created massive results. So seven listings in 72 hours. What's that about? Yeah. So, so you know, let me just share with you a little bit of the, the, the journey of the story here. You know, th this year along, like, like many markets, um, our number of transactions in the market itself is way down 50% at minimum and listings itself. I mean, it's very, very little inventory. Um, and it's been a struggle, right? Getting inventory, getting listings, finding the right sellers that want to sell and all of that. And, you know, most sellers we talk to 90% of them don't want to sell, but so we're looking for that 10% of maybe sellers that would sell or be up for it. And so um, that's just what, what the market is. And, I think along the way, my team and I, and I myself, you know, guilty of it, we started buying into that a little bit, right? Like there's hard to get listings. You know, we started selling into our standards, lowering them from what it was previously. And we started just doing a certain amount of production on getting listings taken month over month. And then it just started like, hey, this is the new normal. And I looked up one day and I'm like, this sucks because this isn't the new normal. And our business is way down and we got to do something about it, right? Like really got to change something up. And so, um, you know, my real estate coach, um, this was just two weeks ago, you know, each week we have accountability and ask me how many listings you're going to take. And our standard as a team, you know, last year, previous market was like seven listings a week, right? 28 listings a month. That's kind of where we need to be. And, you know, we used to hit that a lot. You know, if I look back to January of 21 and look at the numbers and inventory coming in, you know, we, were, we would take 25 a month or 30 a month or 22 a month and then 32 a month. Like, you know, it was always 28 every month, up, down, whatever, but it was consistent enough of seven listings, maybe a week. And now this year, you know, we're looking at numbers that, okay, um, you know, we're getting, you know, we're like in half, you know, 12 listings, 15 listings a month, you know, two this week, four this week, no one listing this week, five the next week, like just, just way off. And I was like, this, this is terrible. Mm. And I understand the market and all that. So anyway, uh, my coach last week um, says to me, you know, you guys have been, you know, you, you've been so off right now on your numbers. What are you going to do about it? And um, the previous week, we only got two listings. And he goes, you know, we brought our standard down to five. 
this year. And he goes, you know, you're week after week, you're not, you're, you're, you're not hitting goal. And um, I said, well, you know, this is a Monday. It's a Monday at two 30 call I have with him. And, he, and I said, well, I'm going to get him this week. Our team's going to get him this week. We're going to get this listing. We got a good pipeline. We got appointments. However, you know, I'm playing in a golf tournament, a member guest tournament, you know, this coming week. So my week is short. I have a practice round Thursday. It's the biggest tournament of the year. It's invite only, you know, it's, it's a big deal. And also my listing partner, Rob is also playing in another tournament, a different club with Ryan, who's works on our team as well. And so my listing partner here and Ryan, my other, other, one of my other teammates here on the team is they're both going to play another member guest starting Thursday. So our office is just like going to be short handed and the focus. And he confronted me and he more or less said, look, he goes, you know, I hear all this and it's all great and all, but um, at what point he said, is your golfing, your BMX racing, your other things you do outside of work more important than your business? Because it seems like you're putting other things in front of your business. And I said, well, it's not. He goes, well, it seems like to me, your, you know, your golf trip or your golf, your golf uh, event is way more important. You go get your, these listings. And we started having a conversation about that and got a little more deep into it. And, you know, he presented to me and goes, what if you didn't go play golf until you got five listings? What would it be like right now that you are not going to go and you went back right now and told your team and you stepped up and you as a leader put your balls on the line, went back and said, I have this golf tournament, but I've decided right now that I'm not going to play unless I get five listings. We together get five listings. We need to do this. Immediately after 2.30 call, I called Rob at three o'clock and I said, Rob, here's the deal, man. I'm making this commitment that if we don't get five listings taken by tomorrow night, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. this, this was on, this is Monday at three o'clock until Wednesday, right? Because Thursday it starts that if we don't get five listings um, by then that I'm not, I'm not going to play in my member guest. I'm going to call my partner and tell him what I'm up to. And I said, you're playing a member guest. And I said, would you, would you come along with me and make the same commitment? And he goes, I'm in. I said, all right, game on. Let's effing go this is three o'clock on a monday so this is where it all started right at that point so it was just this level of commitment of man i'm in a really bad position right now there's no way i could ever call my partner up and be like hey man i decided that i didn't get enough listings this week i can't play in the member guest i gotta cancel on you that would screw up the complete club because you have you, everything's all set up already you know he's flying up from charlotte he lives down there now he's a guest of mine and it would be so embarrassing and everything. So that's where it started. So you just go all in. So you, 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 I'm sure you probably said on a Monday, all right, team, let's go get five listings. You probably kept saying that over and over again. So what's the difference of telling your team, this is our goal. And then you talking to your coach and then going back to your team on this Monday and saying, this is our goal. But now we're going to really do it. What So is the difference the fact that you just kind of like you set up such a high accountability that then all of a sudden you it was fight or flight like you you had to fight. You put yourself in the in a significant quarter corner and you had to fight out of it. Is that the difference between any other week? 100 percent of difference. The other week I was let myself off, let the team off. Excuses would come in and too much BS would show up and this, that and the other. And it was fight or flight. It was sure was yeah. back myself in a corner and said, you know what? I'm going to make this commitment and I'm going to figure out a way. I'm going to figure and find out a way. However, whichever we got this going on, we're going to go get five listings net in the next 24 hours. Now, yeah. you know, we already had some, you know, just like all of us have our lead follow up and leads are going on and listings we think we're going to get like, you know, it wasn't it's like in the pipeline. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at this point, everything became urgent. Everything yeah. became extreme. If there's one word I can give, it's extreme. Like everything is extreme. The extreme amount of phone calls, extreme amount of texts went out, extreme amount of Bush broadcasts, extreme amount of closes we're saying on conversations, extreme amount of posts on Facebook, extreme amount of uh, the sources of which we were going to go for, the extreme amount of me up everyone's rear uh, in the office. Yeah. On who the follow up. I bet you are following up like crazy. Oh. It was, it was, it, it yeah. was nuts. And I can get into that a little bit about that and, and, and all those different things, but everything in, in our world just elevated with a level of energy and oh, all right, this is game on. Let's go. We're in. Let's figure it out. 
Yeah. And so we rallied together and uh, and Rob and I, this is three o'clock on 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 a on a Monday afternoon. So we had a half we were already shot shot one day almost, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we just we just went all in and figured out, you know, who and how are we gonna get listings right now? So so you ended up was seven. So the, the, the accountability was five in what you had two days to do it, like 48 yes, hours. 48 okay. hours. Now you, you said you ended up with seven. So was there some residual that in the next day, all of a sudden a few more came in, you ended up with seven in 72 hours. That's right. Exactly. We hit our, we hit our last fifth listing at nine Oh two, nine Oh two on Wednesday night. <laughs> now, Rob and I come back. We had gone on like seven or eight appointments, he and I together over the last, those two days. And we were coming back from an appointment. Let me just share the story. So yeah. we're coming back from this appointment we went on and it was in Atlantic City in a high rise. And it's a condominium high rise. And, um, uh, you know, we go and, now this, this is what it was like. This was a, an old expired listing that I called and followed up. I actually did a voice broadcast, ended up responding back to it like a week or two before I called got the appointment. We're coming over pre-qualified as hard as I could, but I was, because it was so busy and it was such a last minute coming over, set the appointment, let's go. I didn't have a listing agreement even typed out. Mm -hmm. I had a seller packet ready to go, a quick little CMA out the door with a blank listing agreement in my hand. Like I brought a blank, like I wasn't even typed, right? Because I was just going to go fill it in old school, old school, handwritten. Right. And, uh, so we get on the appointment and we present and the lady, you know, and I didn't pre pre as much as I could, like I interviewed other agents. She said she was whatever, but I didn't care. I was going, didn't matter. I'm going. Yeah. And I go and present and she's all right, let me think about it. You guys are professional. It sounds good, but I'm not ready right now. Let me talk to my uh, other realtor friend up North, get his opinion, blah, blah, blah. Great. No problem. So, you know, believe me. And I went with the, all the closes because it's, it's do or die. Yeah. Um, I understand you can talk to your friend. Let's go ahead and sign the agreement now. I'm right in here. Just a little contingency. You can sleep on it. That way we both feel comfortable. Tomorrow say yes. Tomorrow say no. I'll rip it up. You know what I mean? 24 hours approval. Right. I said, and she didn't go for it. She, you know, whatever it was. So it's fine. Left the appointment. We're going home. We're going back. Now this is like uh, maybe five or six o'clock, whatever it was um, on Wednesday. And uh, um Rob says to me, he goes, you know, um, we got a couple, we, we, by now, no, no, it's not, I think it's on Tuesday. I forget whatever day it was. No, this is on, I think it was Wednesday. So we already had taken like two or three before that. Now it's coming down like the, the crunch time, right? Come back to the appointment. He says to me, go, he goes, you know, I don't know where we're we going to get these listings from. Now, Ryan had one out. I was helping him with one. Scott had one out. I was helping him with one. And everybody just ramped up their, all the urgency here. And he goes, you know, all we need is that. Where does that come list me call right now? I always yeah. need somebody just going to call us up right now, right away and, 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 and say, come list me, you know, one of those. And I'm telling you what, I look at my phone literally within 15 minutes after he said that, I get an, I get an email. I get an email from, from a, a guy I went to high school with 30 some years ago, right? And says to me, hey, uh, I, um, my mom's not doing well. My dad passed away last month. Uh, I'm up here from Maryland. She wants to sell the house, get on the market right away. I call him right away. Bing, bang, boom. This is a Tuesday now. I'm thinking of it. Um, uh, he, um, yes, I'm going to mark pre-qualifier on the phone. No problem. Great. Let's meet tomorrow. What I say makes sense. Yes. Boom, boom. Go meet. Sign the listing agreement right then. When I'm there, get the listing number four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. All right. Still now, one short. <laughs> Yep. Now driving back, okay, from 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 this appointment, driving down the street, I see a project um, that a past client developer is doing, and he's it's a building that he's renovating, he's keeping it, and I call him up, right? I say, hey, and his, his name is Steve. I said, hey, Steve, and I'm and I'm, I'm busting his chops a little bit. I'm like, yeah, man, what are you doing? You're probably sitting out with a martini in your hand, your Louis Vuitton loafers, and your shirt and button, right? And he goes, nah, 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 I'm I'm grinding over here, or whatever, and we're having a good conversation. I said, your building looks amazing. He said. We need to sell that thing and just condo them all out. He goes, no, I'm not conning them. I'm, I'm concerned about the, the market. I'm keeping them. And uh, he's got a lot of properties. He's a big developer. I said, all right. I said, so tell me this. I said, what property do you have right now that's not committed to a realtor that you want to sell and you'll list with me today? Mm-hmm. He goes, hmm, interesting you say that. He goes, I just bought this other unit in my building that I'm, I want to flip it. And it's unit, you know, 18, whatever. And I go, wow, what do you want for it? He goes, Probably like 560, 569, 579. I said, 
perfect. Would you listen with me today? He goes, in fact, I'll listen with you today. I was going, how about 579? He goes, yep, do it. Send me the agreement. Send the agreement. Got that one. There you go. Okay. Out of nowhere, right? Now, Wednesday comes. 9.02 p.m. We need, we need one more, right? We need one more, whatever the numbers are. And we were exhausted. So Bob and I are going, we sat at the bar, okay? We're sitting there going, where are we going to get this next listing? Where is it going to come? But, but because we already been on other appointments. And so we ended up sending other listing agreements out and they weren't coming back yet, right? Finally, we got one of our sellers to sign it at 9.02 p.m. on Wednesday night, DocuSign back in. We got five from three o'clock commitment till 9.02 p.m. that Wednesday night. Then all the other ones came in because the residual of all the energy and all the appointments and everything else after that started to flow. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Jeff, because I want to give some 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 takeaways because that's a fantastic like story of what you did and what you achieved there. So if if you were coaching somebody, let's turn to script now. You're 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 because you were the player and your coach stimulated you to let's get this in gear, and then you responded extremely well. If you're the coach, like what what are some of the tactics or strategies? What would you tell somebody? If somebody said, yes, Jeff, I'm making the commitment to do five in the next 48 hours, or I'm not going to go to this uh, tournament. I'm not going to play in this member guest tournament. What are some of the first things that you would tell them to do? Like the the how? What are some of that? Because I, I think the most important thing is what you expressed a lot, which is the, 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 the thinking side, the mindset, the, the commitment that you made. What's some of the more tactical things? What are some of the first things that you physically did in order to create some short-term momentum? What we did right away is one is obviously, as I mentioned to you, the word extreme, right? Everything went up extreme, extreme and everything. So our outbound efforts went way up, right? So after we had the accountability and the un, un, you know, the uncomfortable commitments there, you know, so number one is I wrote down here, we went and did, we searched for all, all the old expires, right? We went back as much as between, between six and 18 months. Right. We use land voice. We pull a lot of that in, plus our own uh, scraping system of our own VAs and, and um, uh, our own manual system. Right. So we pulled them in. So we did that. We then and so we, we uploaded, I think, like 900. The first round was like 900, 933 of those. OK. From the one MLS. Then we had another MLS. We uploaded the other. There was not, uh, 598 there. Mm-hmm. And so we did that. We sent out voice broadcast. We texted them both. Right. Mm-hmm. And so this allowed a ton of calls to come back in. Okay. So the outbound, now a lot of them we had already been previously working. So we got some more, you know, additional calls to come back in. So old expires between text and emails. Okay. That went mm-hmm. Okay. We then went and got a lot of our third party leads, our fast expert leads, our home mm-hmm. light leads, you know, all those third party leads that, that, that we've had over the years. We went and did the same thing. Right. All these sellers that were seller leads to see who's out there, hasn't sold or haven't relisted just yet. So went and did that. OK, then what we did was um, we went to um, for sale by owners and primarily for sale by owners. We sent them two texts. OK, so one text that went out was uh, about a story about how we sold three for sale by owners and then they were listed and we end up getting them more net. Uh, than they had previously on their own. Okay, so mm-hmm. text there. With a follow-up text the next day that if they knew they could get with the, um, if they knew that they could sell on their own without a commission, right? Would they consider listing with us with a marketing plan, right? Yeah. So if they could sell with our marketing plan, but still not pay any commission, right? And that's a different different way to get them. So for sale by owners. So the majority of what happened in the beginning was old expires, mm-hmm. third-party leads, and for sale by owners. Yeah. That was and, and, and then what you said, I can't remember what you said, uh, massive. Uh, you, you, what is it you're saying that you took massive action? You, the quantity of touches, you just went extreme. Went extreme. Right? So you there's a few different pillars there. And then you just made sure that it was not I called some of our leads. It was no, we called all of them. And then we followed up with them. And then we called them again if they didn't answer. That That's what you're referring to, right? So you just yeah. really took extreme measures. Extreme measures. We went all in on them, right? And, you know, anybody that was hesitant on, on maybe wanting to sell, we pressed them. And our and our script was, if you get the right price today, would you listen with me today? Like, like going straight out. Not would you get it on the market? Would you consider getting it on the market? Are you thinking about selling? No, no, no. 
If you knew you could get the price mm-hmm. that you want, if you knew you could net what you're looking for and you knew 100% guaranteed, like that was a guaranteed, would you list it and get it on the market with me today? Are yeah, you so you, you, you're, I imagine that we don't, I know I don't um, use that language every day because I don't have an accountability that I got to get listings in the next 48 hours, but I see what you did. You, you, you had to go to extreme measures on the number of people you are connecting with because even though I'm sure there's a lot of business that you identified for next month, that didn't solve your problem for this accountability. So mm-hmm. you are always asking about today, right now, would you do it today? Would you sign today? Because you only had 48 hours to, to reach this goal. Yeah. I mean, there's sellers, for example, we all have the sellers. My house isn't ready yet. I'm getting a painting. Yes. I'm doing certain things. There's repairs that need to be done, right? Or I got a tenant in there and they're going to be moving out. Okay, good. I appreciate you got to do all the painting and all that. Let's go ahead and do this, right? Let's go ahead and make a commitment, sign an agreement with me, and we'll just post date the agreement. We'll not make it effective until you authorize it to go live. At least what then I can do all the behind the scenes work and everything prepared. And so we had two of those sellers out of those seven do that as well. We're, we still don't even have them live yet. Yeah, right? we're committed, yeah. We still have committed listings right now. Yeah. Right. Because they're getting now the photos are going to happen next week on the one, the other one, the tenant issue. That was one, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, so we were the sellers that we had like on the fence. It was what's the script? How do we create urgency on their side? How do we make a commitment? How do we get them listed now? I, I didn't care like that they weren't going to go live till a month from now or whatever. Yeah. I needed to get a listing signed now, right? Mm-hmm. That day. And all the excuses or whatever their excuses were, or reasons or conditions, we were going to figure a way out through scripting to go around them to get them to sign the agreement now. Yeah. Can you imagine, Jeff, like, you know, because I think what 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 you did is you 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 shifted your mindset is what I'm hearing. And you just got laser focused. You know, it'd just be amazing at what we would be able to create if we could maintain that every day throughout the year. Right. And that doesn't mean on Saturday and Sunday, if you're not working, you know, if you're out there riding a race in BMX. But like when we're on. When we, when we're, when we're, when we're working, if we can maintain that type of intensity from a mindset, there's five listings every week, like clockwork. By the way, by Wednesday. Yeah, by Wednesday. There you go. There's five by Wednesday. You know, in every one of our markets, there is the ability for an agent to get five every single week. Um, and the, the only reason that it doesn't happen is because we are not maintaining this level of intensity and focus every single week. And I'm not saying that we, that we can, I mean, it might be tough to sustain this, but I, one thing that I'm taking away from this is one thing that we can all do is raise our level of intensity a little bit from where it currently is right now. And in today's market, we need that. We, we need to raise our intensity if we're going to make it in this market and, and do well. It, it's, it's interesting because the one, remember the one I said that I went to high school with, went and listed yeah. it, we double ended already. In fact, it closes tomorrow. Wow. That quick, that quick cash deal done. Yeah. Right. Like this is how, when you raise your intensity up, it's, it's um the velocity of which things can happen and, and the momentum that you create and income that can that can happen is, is a me. It can happen right away. Like yeah. it, it, it is a game changer in the whole team. Everybody right now is like, cause now it's a new standard. Yeah. Five by Wednesday, yeah. five by Wednesday, yeah, How do we get five yeah. by Wednesday, let you know, get to five by Wednesday and then take off the next three days. That's fine. I don't care. Five See, by Wednesday. The, the, the key is, is when you say it can happen immediately, it's, it's already happening. It's not, you know, it's, I don't know that, you necessarily created more listings in their marketplace. I think you captured more listings in your marketplace because you were checked in, you were tuned in, right? And, and, and so there's so many deals. There's so many listings within arm's length of us. It's, you just got to reach out and go get it. You reached out multiple times and you captured it. So the, the deals are flowing. It's just a matter of were, were they flowing to you? And I think you put yourself in position for them to flow to you. You know, I know you created it. So, you know, for those listening, I'm not saying that he didn't create it, but I think that there's a higher bit of learning here that we need to understand. Um, Yeah, those listings we're going to list with somebody. 
That's right. Yeah. And, and, and it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't me like being, you know, yeah, there's skill involved, but it was me getting in front of them before someone else. It was Absolutely. me. That was, it was, it was me and our team figuring out a way, like we always, what did Mike tell us, right? Someone will buy and sell real estate today. Our job is to get in the middle. Yeah. We got in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Just go in the MLS and see how many new listings hit the MLS today. Mm-hmm. And then compare that to how many I got. Right. <laughs> it's like, wait, there's plenty of deal flow here. It's just a matter of, am I putting myself in position for it to be flowing to me? And that's what you did at a high level. So, yeah. so, you know, you kind of just alluded to it, but I want to expand on this before we end the call today is, so uh, what, what are you going to take away from what you just shared, but try to maintain within your team? Like, what are you going to take away and, and how, and what do you think you're going to, as a leader, what do you think you're going to have to do in order to help your team maintain this level of intensity moving forward? Yeah. So that's the challenge, right? So, you know, what we did, what I'm doing is I'm documenting the step-by-step process, right? So that, you know, we can look at it and say, okay, what was the successes of this? How did it work? What was the conversations? Who did you call? When did you call? How did you call? What was that text? What was the response back that came in from that email or text or call back in from a voice broadcast, whatever it may be like, you know, it's that nitty gritty, like, okay, the conversation came in that, yeah, I'm thinking about selling, but how did I take them from thinking about selling to a signed listing within 24 hours right? Yes. or that day? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And how did that, you know, how do we do that? And so it's that whole process. Um, and that I need to just, I'm, I'm looking at and saying, okay, can we duplicate and keep this level, which I believe we can. There's a system, there's a little system involved in that. So mm-hmm. we're looking at those things. Here was the right text that went out. Here was the follow-up on that text. How often, right? And then ultimately, it's more important to that is individually as a team, you know, everyone has to have their own willing and wants, right? They got to want it. Got to really want. So if I go around the room and say, all right, this week, you know, how many listings are you committed to? And, and an agent says to me, it's yeah, okay, I'm going to get one listing this week or two listings this week, whatever it may be for them, right? Well, do you really, are you just saying that just so you can put your name on the board that we're, you know, you're going to get two listings? And we, you know, but do you really want it? Like, how bad do you want it? Are you willing to do what it takes to get it? Like, are you really willing to do it? And then if you're willing, okay, how, what way are you going to go do that? Right. Yeah. But I think it starts with the one. So I got to look at every week to maintain is, is really figuring out. They just saying that we just saying that we're going to get five this week. Are we going to, are we really want five and we're going to go do whatever it freaking takes to get it. And then. So, so instead of like setting goals of what you want. You're setting goals on what you're what what you're willing to give, what you're willing to give is so because there's a big you you've said this before. There's a difference in wanting and uh, wanting it and 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 the willingness to go for it, right? And so we especially in a group, we all may say, "Well, I want three because you get almost get in that like little rhythm of like, "Well, he said two, I better at least say two, um, but you may not really in your heart be willing to do the things and make the sacrifices that it takes. So you're trying to decipher between that and figure out what's okay, we know this is what you want, but are you willing to take the to take the steps and make the sacrifices to get it because ultimately we get what we're willing to to go for we don't typically get what you want. Is that kind of, am I reading you right on this? hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all in that commitment of what you said. It's the sacrifice there. It starts there first because, yeah. you know, it's just the whole thing we've always need to learn from with, with, with Tony Robbins, you know, do we move towards pleasure away from pain, right? Like it is. And, and unfortunately the motivator is the pain part, the sacrifice part. And until you get to a point where there's that that really weird, uncomfortable. I mean, how many times are the years that we had put in so much accountability, yes. uncomfortable accountability, writing checks, uncomfortability, doing this, eating cat food, whatever that weird crap we did yeah. or whatever the embarrassment was, or that was the, those are the moments and places that we were at still to this day that just moves the needle, moves you, gets you going. It's that little bit more than just, you know, all right, I want three listings. Well, if I don't get them, I let myself off the hook. So, but am I willing to do? It? And that was what it was for us. So each week, it's about me as a leader going deep on that with everybody because we've been buying into too much of it's okay. It's okay not to get those listings. Yeah, we've had a lot of we've ha- we've had a lot of great 
excuses, you know, whether it be, oh, you know, a COVID or whether it be have to this or can't show property or can't. We've had a lot of yeah. built in excuses that we can we could we could fall back on for the last couple of years. And I think it's finally catching up with real estate agents. Where way, we, way too we, much. We got to get, we just got to get back to it. And, you know, I also want to just, uh, last thing that I'm going to say is, you know, when I hear Jeff and when you hear me, you're probably, if you hear us enough and you can Google all kinds of things and YouTube on Jeff or myself, you're going to hear a grind kind of mentality. You're going to hear that. And a lot of times we get accused of, um, and not in a negative way, but we get accused of, oh, those guys are just grinders. They grind all day, every day, seven days a week. But the reality is that's not the case. When we are working, we are working. And when we're off, we are off. I, you know, before I hit the record button, Jeff and I were just chatting as as buddies, and you know, I'm asking Jeff, how often are you traveling for BMX races and 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 for this and for that? And it's like, man, I almost uh, a lot, right? And then I I travel for my son's tennis and fly fishing, and we do, by the way, get to enjoy a lot of the fruits of our labor. But what Jeff is talking about here, and I want everyone to hear, no, you don't have to grind seven days a week, you know, 24 hours a day and lose sight of what's important to your life. What we're trying to share with you is if you will get laser focused, turn the intensity up and those time, those hours that you're working through the day, you're going to get 2x, 3x that you ever thought you were going to get in less time. And then you're going to be able to have that time to enjoy your life. I always think let's build a life and figure out how to work around it. So we've decided this is what we want our life to look like. And then we figure out, okay, if we want this life, then these like six or seven hours that we're going to work today, let's be intense. Let's get more out of those hours than somebody's going to get on three times those hours. So I just think it's important because Jeff, you and I, I think we're proud of wearing the badge of being a grinder, but I think people misunderstand us. I don't think they realize that we actually really enjoy a lot of free time to do fun things. Yeah. Right now we're recording this today. It's a Tuesday. Right. right. And my accountability with my coach was yesterday. And guess what? I got to go to Pittsburgh for another race this weekend. Yeah. Right. Leaving on Thursday. And he goes, well, are you up for doing it again? I said, what am I going to do? Say no. Right. This is the new standard. So guess what? Yeah. yeah. This is it, man. We are. We are. It. We got. And right now it's sitting Tuesday. We got two so far. Yeah. And we got a couple. We got a couple out right now. And, and, and we're working on it. But yeah. I, I got I got to get it, man. I got to get it. And this that's is what it funny is. That, again, you know, just I, I didn't even realize until today what was really going on. But um, I told Jeff, I said, man, Scott texted me, was asking me for a referral like the other day. And and I'm sure that was during that same time period that everyone's looking to get that five listings, you know, well, and, and, and I'm just randomly over here. We hadn't even talked in a little while. And I got this random text from one of your team. team yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's the thing. So, you know, the first thing after I after that, I had that call, I called Rob and he, he was he bought in. I called my partner, right, my, my partner in the golf in the golf tournament and said, said to him, I said, Jimmy, I said, listen, man. I just want to let you know, I'm making this commitment right now. I need to know who you know. Oh, yeah. Who do you know? Because he's from our area, right? Who do you know that wants to sell? I need a listing today. I need I need you to call everybody you know. Like So so the other part of this is you can rally up the people around you to help you support you. Yeah. Right. And then and then, you know, go into that. So it's like, hey, I need to get this or I can't do that. Help me do it. Who can I call? And you'll watch the world and watch the universe just start sending you thinking people. Yeah. A lot of people want us to win, right? They, they, people want us to win. Um, they just don't know how they can contribute to us. Yeah. And so you're, you know, what you're doing is again, is you may be asking for a referral, but you, you really shared with them what was going on and enrolled them in the possibility of what was going on. And then the law of reciprocity kicks in. They, they, they actually start thinking, yeah. well, how can I help Jeff? So, man, I I um I really appreciate Jeff you taking the time, and I always uh I've always appreciated our friendship. You know, I've I, I, again, I we could just tell stories about you break dancing at your wedding, you know, and everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, so we could go on and on, but I do really appreciate the uh, the conversation that we had, and for those of you that um you know ever have referrals to send, I know in Ocean City, New Jersey, but I think you're in cross over some other markets also. What markets? Do you serve and how could somebody send you a referral? Yeah. So primarily just in, you know, in Southern New Jersey is always great from service between Brigantine and Cape May, 
all of uh, Atlantic and Cape May County in Jersey. You can get me anywhere uh, at Jeff Quinton, social mm-hmm. media, Jeff at jeffquinton.com, my email. You can find me anywhere. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, hey, this is the Level Up Podcast. And if anybody uh, needs to reach out to me, just go to uh, Facebook, find me on Facebook. You can just direct message me. That's always the easiesest way. And then if anyone's interested in and in, in, uh, us helping you with some coaching, then go to realestatesalessolutions.com. Check, uh, check out the coaching offerings that we have. We'd love to help you out there. So Jeff, again, I'm sure we'll do this sometime in the future on a different subject, but thank you so much. And uh, we'll connect soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's always an honor. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, man.